On this is Senator Chris Coons. He's a Democrat from Delaware, member of the Judiciary Committee and also the Foreign Relations Committee. Uh, Senator, first, uh, what's your reaction to the press conference from Attorney General Sessions and his decision to recuse himself? Well, Jake, the most important issue here for us to continue to be focused on is to have a thorough, credible, bipartisan investigation into Russian interference in our elections. Uh, and the unanswered questions uh, about the connections between senior members of the Trump campaign team and Russian intelligence intelligence need to be thoroughly and fairly investigated. Uh, so I think it is important uh, that Attorney General Sessions uh, took a big step in that direction uh, when he announced uh, just moments ago that he will recuse himself uh, from the ongoing investigation into potential uh, collusion between the Trump campaign in which he played a senior role uh, and uh, the Russian government and Russian intelligence. So it's a good first step. Uh, I do think the Attorney General should return to the Judiciary Committee uh, to answer the questions that were not answered uh, fully and in a forthright right way before uh, and to make sure that the American people have a chance uh, to have their confidence restored that the Attorney General uh, did not mislead the Judiciary Committee in his confirmation hearing. Well, Senator, as you heard the Attorney General, he's going to write to, to the Judiciary Committee. It doesn't sound like he's eager to return uh, in any sort of hearing setting. What will you do if he refuses to come back and answer your questions in person? Well, Jake, I think it's important that we proceed in a bipartisan way. Um, yesterday, Republican Senator Rubio and I took to the floor uh, to give a joint speech about the importance of pushing back on Russian aggression and to conduct a thorough and fair investigation into meddling in our election. It's my hope that on the Judiciary Committee, we'll have both Republicans and Democrats asking the Attorney General to return and to answer the questions uh, that aren't fully answered. But my hunch is that we'll get answers in writing first, and we'll have to see whether they're satisfactory. So, Senator, um, during uh, the press conference right there, uh, the attorney general quoted Al Franken, the senator from Minnesota, your colleague, uh, and he referred to the part of the question uh, where Senator Franken referred to, quote, and he's actually quoting a CNN story, there was a continuing exchange of information during the campaign between Trump surrogates and intermediaries for the Russian government. That's an allegation made in this uh, Russian uh, I'm sorry, in this dossier in which Russians uh, were quoted and the intelligence community presented information, a summary of this dossier to President Trump. Um, he said he was responding to the question of that, about whether or not he had had any contacts with Russians as part of a, quote, continuing exchange of information. And that is why he said no. Is that satisfactory to you? Is that believable to you? Uh, well, uh, Jake, my recollection of that moment in the confirmation hearing uh, was that Senator Franken was asking directly if you've had contacts with Russians, uh, with senior Russian officials, uh, to which the answer obviously should have been yes. Um, and then Senator Sessions could have uh, modified that and said, yes, I've had several meetings with the Russian ambassador, uh, but we talked about issues that were unrelated to the presidential campaign. Um, so I don't think it was a, a forthright and a full answer. That's why I do think it'd be helpful, constructive for the attorney general to help restore confidence by giving a complete answer in person in front of the Judiciary Committee. You're right, sir. Just to quote from uh, what Senator Franken said, the actual question he asked was, if there is any evidence that anyone affiliated with the Trump campaign communicated with the Russian government in the course of this campaign, what will you do? At which point, then Senator, now Attorney General Sessions said, I did not have communications with the Russians. You think that that was false? Well, it's clear that he had communications uh, with the Russian ambassador. Um, I expect that Attorney General Sessions will explain that he understood the question to mean about campaign matters. Uh, but it would have been a correct, accurate, and forthright answer if he'd said, yes, I recently met with the Russian ambassador, uh, and then went on to explain what it was they discussed. Um, as it was uh, with the national security advisor um, who had to resign uh, because he was untruthful about conversations that he had uh, with this same Russian ambassador, um, this continues to raise the level of concern uh, by Americans, both Democrats and Republicans, about the core issue here, which is a, uh, a lack of openness and truthfulness about connections and contacts between um, Russian officials, uh, Russian officials known to American intelligence, uh, and very senior members of the Trump campaign team. We need to get this investigated thoroughly, responsibly, and in a nonpartisan way. Senator Chris Coons, Democrat from the great state of Delaware, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Jim. Attorney General Jeff Sessions.